Welcome back everyone. Lots of sunshine here on our Friday late afternoon, perhaps early evening. And this is a big change from yesterday because yesterday we were tying and breaking records. In case you missed it, in Fargo we tied our record of 86. That was set back in 2003. Grand Forks breaking the record that was set back in 1934. And Park Rapids, another one of our climate sites, breaking the record yesterday too. Now we're talking about a first alert weather day for our first widespread freeze of the season. Yes, some of you folks have already had your first freeze of this season. This is going to be for more of us. Here's an early look at Monday morning's forecast temperatures. This is 6 a.m. 29 in Thief River. 32 Valley City and Fargo 26 Wadena 30 in Grand Forks and freeze is anything 32 or colder. So looking at our freeze risk more long range. Yes, Monday is going to be our first widespread chance, but in fact, Tuesday could actually be a couple of degrees colder yet for many locations, but we're calling that first alert weather day for Monday morning. Just a heads up though that Tuesday it's going to be quite cold as well. In the meantime, we're at 64 right now here in Fargo. North northwest breeze at 12 miles an hour. 64 in Moorhead as well. In the Green Fork, 62 north northwesterly breeze at 12 miles per hour. All in all, it's been a pretty nice day. Temperatures across the region, upper 50s to low 60s, which is a cool down from yesterday, but this is still above average for this time of the season as we're almost pushing into mid October. But here's the temperature change from just 24 hours ago. Grand Forks, you're currently 25 degrees colder than this time yesterday. Just a little perspective. In Fargo, we're 21 degrees colder. At least we've got the nice sunshine for today. We did have a few clouds south earlier. Those have moved on out. But now more cloud cover out to the west, along with a few spotty showers. Those will be moving our way. For the next couple of hours, though, we're pretty quiet, slight north breeze. Then here comes that cloud cover, which may be hindering our northern lights potential again tonight. We'll be watching it. Isolated showers along with that cloud cover. I don't think it's going to be quite this widespread. It's going to be very light. What does make it to the ground through tomorrow morning, but otherwise starting off cloudy. Some decrease in cloud cover into the afternoon and then another chance of showers primarily to the north and to the east late afternoon and into tomorrow evening, followed by a north wind. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, similar to what we've been seeing for today, some 50s and 60s. Sunday going to be cooler yet with highs in the 50s, perhaps some upper 40s for a few, with a stronger northwest wind gusting near 30 miles per hour. There's that first alert weather day for Monday, but Tuesday morning going to be cold too. And then Wednesday, Another sharp contrast back into the 70s, 76 for Thursday. Courtney, we can thank sunshine, strong south wind, another warm front there. And then beyond that, temperatures in the 60s. I was really betting on the 70s being gone, so. You lost some money then if you actually. Yeah. No, I'm not Bobby. I know I'm anchoring the four <laughs> right now, but I don't. That's just Bobby. He's a betting man. Yeah, summer. <laughs>